Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Vitamin Y Season 3. So, let's see if I can win this duel today. Hopefully I can. I don't know, this deck has been really, really good lately. Um, when the cards come out in real life, I'll probably make it as a, like, a secondary U-Bell deck, just for fun. Damn, lost paper, rock, scissors, so I guess I'm going second. Just the advantage of going first is just so good. You just get to set yourself up with all your plays and stuff. Oh, this hand is bad. It, this is one of the reasons why I run the Magical Mallet, so... Hopefully I'll draw one, because these... All three... Well, not really him, because I got Rota, so maybe I can... Dark Graffer. Ooh, Breaker. Breaker's gonna break, isn't he? Let's see if I can bait out his break. Uh, I'm gonna Rota. Usually I would go for Dark... I would go for Dark Graffer, but... I don't know. I can't risk me getting Bottomless Trap Hold right now, so... I'm gonna summon Armageddon Knight. Use the effect. Uh, we're going to drop you, Bell. Oh, there you are, Magical Mallet. Bye. You got shuffled. Set that, and then my turn. Now I'm going to bait out his breaker, because he's going to remove the counter to break my back row. It's what you do with breaker, see? See? See, I baited him right into that. That's exactly what I wanted to do. So that's gone, that's gone. Effect, you, and now I get my Terran Carnate. So my hand is still pretty crappy, but... Through his assistance, I got out Terry Incarnate, so thank you for that. <laughs> and I just sitting there like, fuck. <laughs> but seriously, what's up with this hand? I'm, I hope I get a magical mallet. So, as you guys know, uh, the semester of college is over. I'm not in college yet, but... All my friends are out of college, so we're just chilling, just playing a lot of computer games lately. Uh, you know, Mabinogi, if you watch my Mabinogi series, some Mabinogi. And a new game called PSO2, which is a really fun game, and I'm planning on doing a recording of it and putting it on my channel just to, to show you guys. But I haven't really got to it. been watching some TV, um playing some Pokemon. I've actually been playing a lot of Pokemon, training them up, so as you guys know, if you guys watch my Pokemon series, uh, there's some serious skipping of my Pokemon just getting really strong all of a sudden. So he just read Yuval's effect, and now he's like, damn. <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny. So let's see what he does. Wonder on on Kaiko? Ooh, that's gonna... On breaker, all right. Damn, that sucks. Yeah, I know. It's fucking Kaiko, banishing my fucking U Bell. Thanks. That's totally what I wanted. Wonder Woman's a good card. That is a really good card. Increase it by 500, and you can send both to the graveyard to draw two cards. So you even out, which is good. It's just a really good card. But I did not expect Kaiko. Out of all the fucking cards to hit the field, it had to be fucking Kaiko. Oh, I hate this sucker. I've always hated this fucker. 1800 inflicts battle damage. I had to banish two cards. It fucking sucks ass. <laughs> That's for you to figure out, sir. I'm not gonna be nice to you and tell you how to do it. No, fuck you. You banish my cards. Alright, so he's playing the spell book. So, Prophecy deck. I don't think I've really played against these decks. Um, I really don't see how this deck is that good. 
You know, you just summon out your priestess and the priestess is gone. Or something. So it becomes the same. So now that copy secrets and now he can do another search. So he's just filling up his graveyard with spellbook cards. Okay. But yeah, just just been chilling. Doing my videos. Uh don't have to do any more blitz. Okay. So he got out of his high priestess. Effect. Special summon. Yeah, this hand is bad. And seriously, I wish I would get a magical mallet right now, because I need one. I already just negged one myself by summoning Ultimate Nightmare. I was hoping to wipe the field, but of course then he just summons High Priestess. Man, his turn is taking an eternity. Ah, finally. He's not he's saying not so bad because he has back row protect. I already know what it freaking is. It's probably like a mirror force or something, so I'm gonna have to attack. I have to attack. Or I'm I'm screwed, so I have to make my push. But it's probably like a mirror force or something, or a deep prison. Oh, really? It's not? Okay. Uh, I don't even want to summon Dark Gruffer, because Dark Gruffer's just going to get killed by Kako, and he's just going to banish them. He's just going to suck ass, so I'm going to have to end my turn. <sighs> Fucking Kaiko. Kaiko. I hate that fucker. Usually I would summon Dark Gruffer, and then send Doom Shaman, and then send, well, Yubella Tinker or something, but... Uh, how can Kaiko is just sitting there? I had to get rid of uh, the High Priestess before I get rid of Kaiko. So. Hopefully everything will be okay. I don't know. Uh, then he's going to bring back High Priestess. And then he's going to pop my Ebel. And then he's going to banish it. Nope, nope, I lost. I definitely lost. Uh, I'll do one more duel. Alright, let's duel this person. Uh, scissors. Damn. I suck at paper rock scissors. Wow, he wants me to go first? Okay, I mean, I'll go first. Uh, the hands... Eh. Alright, now the hand is okay. So I know exactly what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get Graffer. So I'll put that on top of the deck. And that on top of the deck. Then we're gonna shuffle it all up. Now the hand is fine. Normal summon Dark Graffer. Effect. Send you bell to send Doom Shaman. Where are you, Doom Shaman? There you are. Set the limit reverse and go ahead. See the advantages of going first. Now, what if I would have summoned like a Thunder King Rao? Then he wouldn't be able to activate his pot of duality. <laughs> yeah. I'll say it once and I'll say it again. Just the advantage of going first is just uncanny. Uh, chain. I know, dude. I know. That is gone, that is gone. Effect, view. And I get to bring out Darren Connick. Yeah, 
Yeah, it seemed like that guy in that last duel had a really good hand compared to my really bad hand. Super Polly? Sure. I'm not sure if I get my U-Bell. I don't know. I don't know. I'll just leave it alone for now. So, get your Esquilado. Even though, like, no one in the freaking world has him. Like, I got my friend two Esquilados, and everybody wants to trade him for it. It's really funny. So, he is 26 right now. Uh, The Shining. Yep, The Shining. So The Shining is 32. So I'm going to take 15 plus... I'm going to take 4,000 damage. In a sense, yeah, 4,000 damage. Because that would be 15, because he's 32, I'm 17. That's 15 plus the 20... Oh, my bad. Plus another 100. I forgot about the uh, woodsman in the graveyard. Got it. So he seriously made a push right now. Um, let's activate Onslaught. And we are going to bring out Phoenix. We're going to activate Swing. We're going to summon Doom Shaman. We're going to Gemini summon for effect. Effect. We're going to bring back Ebel. End phase. Doom Shaman's destroyed. Ebel destroyed. Effect. You. Oh, my. It's in the graveyard. My bad. Bring back Terror. Effect. During my end phase, destroy all monsters on the field. So, your monsters, I'm not going to click on them. You get your two aliases back. Right? When this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can target up to two. Yeah. And you can go ahead. So, the shining didn't make him neg too much. Yeah. because he got his two monsters back, which is fine. But Phoenix is going to come back next standby phase and wipe the back row, so that'll get rid of the fusion gate, so that keep that out of my way for a little while. He'll set an alias. My turn? Standby phase. Phoenix returns. Effect. Pop your back row. You no, know, forget it. I'm just going to click it anyway. I don't know. Sometimes I try not to, and then sometimes I do. I don't know. Dueling Network is weird. Sometimes my hand just moves on its own. That too? All spells and traps. Um, I'm just going to end. It's really not worth me attacking. Because it's the same thing. It would be the same exact thing if I would have attacked. I would have just attacked and then... I mean, uh, ooh, I could attack him directly with Terror Incarnate. I don't know. Would I get Ebel's effect from Super Poly? You guys tell me. You guys tell me, because I'm not sure. But pretty much right now, I just got him in the loop, which was fairly easy to get into. So, obviously, I know that's a alias, so I'm just going to end. So, both the aliases are gone. I'm just going to take this duel fairly slowly. My hand is actually pretty fine.
so either he's just gonna let me attack him or he's gonna waste resources because I'm so plus on him that well it was kinda his own fault I mean he decided to go sell ham on the first turn so Phoenix will come back Phoenix will attack you directly Facing some meta decks. The Prophecy, the Elemental Heroes. Yep, facing the meta. I mean, I could probably, I could have probably faced off against those Prophecy if I got a better hand, but my hand was just not that good. You gonna grand mold me? Effect, you, and I will get Ultimate Nightmare. I know that's what you're going to do. Because I know you're not going to just be like, oh no, I just want to attack the, the Terror Incarnate. So, go ahead and put it back in your hand. Yeah, I know. Maybe that's like a Tarantal or something. I don't know, we'll find out. Yeah, but lots, lots and lots of Pokemon. I'm training up my Pokemon, getting them really strong. So if you guys watch my Pokemon series, be prepared to see my team just get really strong all of a sudden. Uh, standby phase. Phoenix comes back. Pop that. Unless it's like a torrential or bottomless trap hole you can train to, or solemn or whatever. Another mirror force. Um. I'm actually gonna. S what's in my grave? Doom Shaman's in my grave. So, yeah, I'm gonna set that. And I will. And my turn. Since Phoenix's not gonna die this turn. So, he's gonna. What is he going to Grand Mall? Phoenix? Or you bell? Phoenix. Alright. Alright, so now I have seven cards in my hand, so next turn I have to discard if I don't do anything. Watch this, watch this. Ooh, Miracle Fusion. What are you Miracle Fusing for? What are you fusing for? Do you have any water in there? No, it doesn't look like it, so... No absolute zero. An alias, and another alias for the Shining. Okay. Well, both your mirror forces are done, so... I hope you have a plan to go with this. Wow, nothing? Nothing. Battle phase. Attack. You take 32. Game. You take your monsters. Attack. Which was 32. And you have 32. Let's see if he figures it out. Mm -mm. Weren't you 3,200? Yeah, you were 32, because those two aliases that are removed from play. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Just the way I like it. Alright guys, well this was the 
Vitamin and Y for today, so I'll be back tomorrow with more Vitamin Y and other various things. So if you want to see this deck profile, there's a note right there, so go ahead and click that and I'll take you to my channel, which has the video so you can see the deck profile. Um, my offer is still on the table for those of you who are up-and-coming Yugi tubers so as long as you hit the requirement of under 100 subscribers and at least 10 Yu-Gi-Oh related videos go ahead and just type in the comment and be like hey can you help me out and I will do a video about your channel suggesting what you, changes you can make to get you more views and I will hype you up on my channel for a while so these two right here have actually asked for my help so we have Cat Awesome Catman Awesome 9 here and we have XX Infantry 94 so go ahead and click those and check out their channels and if you like what you see go ahead and subscribe to them so I hope you guys enjoyed and there'll be much more to come so do the usual like come subscribe and as always thanks for watching